Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad we got it. We're here. See, this is the live interaction. This is great. Thank you so much for your feedback because I would have had a video that people couldn't hear me and that would have been so not good. So I appreciate you telling me that. That is so helpful. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're going to be talking about developing our third eye and our intuition today. And I'm going to be walking you through an exercise on how you can start developing it, opening it, and keeping it consistently healthy and flowing for you. Okay, so I'm going to be walking through you through an exercise. You're going to need a candle today. So I have here my little my little tea light candle. If you don't have your tea light candle with you or you don't have a candle with you right now, that's okay. You can use mine. Um, but when you're doing this practice on your own, because you're going to want to do this yourself, when you're doing this on your own, you're going to want a candle to practice on. So we're going to need that for later. So if you can go get that, if you're home or somewhere where that you can light a candle. Okay, cool. So now let's go to the pledge. So I have here the pledge. We're going to recite the pledge and then we're going to get into the exercise. So I'm really excited. And the reason why I'm excited is because when we step into really understanding our intuition and when we step into understanding our third eye and really knowing how to utilize it it makes life so much easier for us okay and the reason why it makes it easier is because it helps us with receive clarity right clarity on our direction clarity on decisions clarity on how to communicate and what other people are saying and what you're sharing it is amazing so here we go. We're going to recite our pledge. Okay, so here we go. I pledge that from this moment on, I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. I will be kind to myself. I will love myself in every state that I am in. I will invest in my personal growth and I say yes to myself and I completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to attract all good into my life. So that is our pledge. And if you don't have it, you can get that on my website. If you haven't signed up for the pledge, you're going to want to sign up because you want to get all this juicy information in your inbox. Okay, cool. So here we go. We're going to go into the exercise today. Okay, so first what I would like us to do it's just taking some deep breaths in and out. Oh, let's do two more. In and out. Oh, one more. In and out. Oh, beautiful. And this is just to really cleanse us, clear us, so that we are in our state. Okay, so now what I want us to do is place our hands like this, like if you were doing like a, a prayer position. And I kind of want you just to kind of do this, okay? And what we're going to do here is we're just going to let our hands go back and forth. And what this is doing is it's creating, we're trying to feel our energy, right? So first what I'm going to be showing you is how to feel your energy. And what this does, you know, in our hands, our hands is one of the places where we have a lot of nerve endings and um, we're very, we're more receptive with our hands. So that's why doing this kind of awakens our sh hand chakras, okay, the chakra in our hand. So it kind of awakens that and it pushes us and you could do like a circular motion as well, just to build up the energy so just feel that right and taking a deep breath in and out right and this right now is just to get our energy up right to feel our energy whoops sorry we're just going to continue doing that mm, wonderful now as we are now bringing our hands together i want you to now focus right i want you to focus upon your hands and focus towards the the universe bringing in energy in through your hands okay it's bringing this beautiful energy into your hands okay good 
So now you feel that energy, just let yourself feel it. You may want to hold it in a prayer position. Just let your hands feel the energy. Okay, good. Now I want you to slowly just move your hands out, but still feeling the electric pull of the energy, right? Very little. Now if you push them out and you don't feel it, put your hands back together. Right, and now I just want you to pull it a little bit more. And I just want you to feel this. This is your energy. Wow, this is so cool right now. I could feel it really deeply in the palms of my hands. So you're going to feel it. You know, some people will feel it more in the palms or in the fingertips. Now I'm just pulling it a little bit wider. Right, if you feel that you lose it, bring it back together and do this again, right? With the intention of feeling your energy, right? So now I'm just going to pull it out. Yeah, and then pull it out a little bit more. Good, good, awesome. So now what I want you to do is, you know, recognize this energy pull that you have here, right? Now I just want you to pick it up and put your hands on your head, okay? Your palms on the forehead, right? Because what we're doing is now we're allowing ourselves to feel the energy now in our head, right? Because we're trying to awaken our chakra, our third eye. So now we're going to put one hand over the other. Okay, so put one hand over the other. And now we're just awakening our third eye. We're now awakening. And just let the energy from your hands seep into your third eye. Okay. Wonderful. Now just let your body sit with that, taking a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> I know this is so weird. You see half of my face and this is okay. Right, good. Okay, cool. Now we're going to slowly remove our hands from our forehead, right? And you might feel like a little bit of your sweat and that's okay. Or you might feel some tingling. Now I just want you to take the thumb of one of your hands and you're going to, you see here, it's, this is the middle of your eyebrows, a little bit above your eyebrows. You kind of want to put your hand and then you could place your fingers down. And this is just to activate, right? We're activating. I know this seems weird. This is how it looks. Okay. But we're activating this, right? We're opening it up so that we can develop it. And you might feel some tingles. Right, remember to take deep breaths in and out so that you can continue to open up the space. We're opening, opening, opening up the space right now. Okay. Now just let your finger kind of, you know, feel whatever sensations you want to feel. Yeah, this feels so cool. I love doing these exercises with you. Mm. Now... Slowly remove the skin-to-skin -skin contact, but you want to still keep your hand a little bit above, right? So my hand is not touching, my finger is not touching, but I still feel the electric pull, that energy pulling from the third eye and my finger. Okay? Good. Awesome. Ah, just just continue to let the, yourself sit with this feeling, right? And if you don't have, if you don't feel the electric, put your finger back on your 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 head, right, the third eye, and do it all over again, right? You might not get it the first time. I didn't get it the first time. I had to do it a whole bunch of times. Angels kept saying, Melissa, just relax <laughs> relax because the big thing was i wasn't relaxing right so that's why breath is so important okay great now you could remove that now you kind of opened it up right and you might feel some tingles you may not right now that's okay don't judge the feeling just let it happen okay awesome now you kind of felt what it feels like yay now you kind of activated it so now what we're gonna do we're going to do, I'm going to light the candle now. 
and we're going to now focus our energy on this and this is a really cool simple exercise that is just so much fun okay so I hope you can see okay can you see the flame okay good 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 so I'm gonna hold it up here so if you have your candles you can light it now now what I want you to do is I want you to stare at the flame of the candle just stare at it without okay hi honey hi positive energy flow thank you for joining I want you now to look at the flame okay and try to stare at the flame without blinking okay now we're going to just stare at the flame without blinking right for as long as you can do it for so now I'm staring at the flame staring at the flame without blinking right and stay as long as you can I'm gonna stay as long as I can without blinking Now, as you notice, as you start looking at the flame without blinking, you can notice what's happening with the flame. It might feel brighter. Okay, I'm going to bring this closer so you guys could see it. Um, I hope you could see it. Is that is that better this way? Okay, so now just stare. Okay, now we're going to do it again. Stare at the flame. Now close now blink close your eyes for a moment. Okay, we're going to do the staring again. Just close your eyes. Now open it again. Now we're going to stare at the flame without blinking. Stare at the flame. We're practicing, okay? Remember this is a practice. It's a fun practice too. And if you do this with other people, it's so much fun. I'm so excited that you're doing this with me cuz it's just more fun with you. So now I'm just trying to keep my eyes open. Okay, now once you blink, close your eyes. So I blinked. And I want you to close your eyes. Okay, and I want you to now focus on the third eye energy from the, where you felt your finger before. And visualize the flame. Visualize the flame with your eyes closed from your third eye center. Okay, now you might notice, you know, that it moves or that it's still, you may see different colors, right? So right now I see like a lot of red and then the flame is yellow for me. Okay, cool. Right, just try to hold it as much as you can. Right, and you're, you're just visualizing it from your third eye. Okay, cool. Now open your eyes. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to do this again. Okay, and what this is doing is you're practicing with looking from the third eye. Not from here, but from here. Okay, so this is really, really cool. Okay, so we're going to do this again. You ready? I'm ready. So we're going to stare at the flame without blinking. And then once you blink, keep your eyes closed and visualize it from the third eye, okay? And just keep holding it as long as you can through your third eye, okay? So let's start. Stare at the flame. Stare at the flame. And then close your eyes once you blink and visualize the flame visualize the candle right in front of you visualize the flame right and try to hold it as much as you can and relax your forehead don't don't squeeze too hard on your forehead because then you're gonna give yourself a headache just try to relax and see okay just relax and allow your eye to see the flame in your eye in your third eye 
Okay, great. You did awesome. Okay, wonderful. So that is just allowing yourself to see through the third eye without using your vision, right? And this flame is easy because it's bright, so you can use a candle. This is a really simple exercise. Okay, and I want you to try this as often as you can, at least once a day, to build on your third eye and developing it. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna place this down. Okay, great. So now we're gonna do another exercise. Okay, awesome. So I have my notes here so that I don't forget anything. Okay. Um, let's see. What's so there was another exercise I wanted to do with you as far as with the flame. Okay, so what's really cool is, oh, I forgot to tell you this with the flame. So what this is going to do, you know, and candles are highly spiritual, right? I, I so enjoy um, working with candles and I make candles. This, this candle I didn't make. I, I purchased tea light candles. Um, but I have a whole bunch of candles that I do make. <laughs> um, and they're so so connected to the light right because we're always talking about the light and it's like a window to the light so it's really really powerful okay great now I'm gonna put this back down now remember that you're focusing from this area should I see it in front of the third eye or directly in the third eye so you're seeing it in front of the third eye excellent question thank you for asking that so you're seeing you're seeing through your third eye like the way you would see things like you see me now through your through your eyes right you're focusing as seeing it through right like you're watching it just like you would through your eyes but you're watching it okay so this is one way thank you that was an awesome question yeah Woo! loving it so that so that so now that you have how to open it up remember that when you're doing this practice you first want to get your energies focused on your hand then you focusing that energy onto your finger moving that to your forehead okay then you're allowing yourself to expand that energy okay and then that's that's activating your third eye right now my third eye is like so shaking like i could feel so much energy opening and pulsating it feels amazing and you could share what you're feeling as well if you're feeling anything or if you're not feeling anything okay so now that we did that with the eyes with the candle now what i want you to do is don't look at the candle and put the candle to the side don't look at the candle if you have a candle now I want us to take three deep breaths in and out and then after we do that, as after the third breath, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to then visualize the flame again, okay? Visualizing it through your third eye with your eyes closed without looking at it, okay? So now we're going to do three breaths and then we're going to close our eyes and do that, okay? Awesome. So taking a deep breath in. And out, in, and out, again, in, and out, now close your eyes, right, do not put too much pressure on your forehead, <coughs> okay, just relax your forehead, and now try to visualize through the third eye, try to see the flame, Try to see the flame of the candle. I know this one's a little bit harder, right? And it's okay if you don't see it at first, but the more that you relax, you will start seeing the flame, right? And taking deep breaths in and out, right? And just allow yourself now to see the flame, right? And, and you could you get out of your head, Okay, and just continue to repeat to yourself, I am seeing the flame with my third eye. I am seeing the flame with my third eye because then you're bringing all your focus to this, right? You're bringing all your focus to your third eye. I see the flame with my third eye. I see the flame with 
my third eye and I see the flame with my third eye. Cool, now you can open up your eyes nice and slow. Mmm, right, and you might notice things may seem a little bit more brighter when you open your eyes because now that your third eye is activated, it feels really good. So that is a, a simple way to start developing your third eye, okay? So that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can use any candle just like I used a tea light candle here, okay? When you're practicing this, make sure that you're somewhere where it's steady, that the candle is steady, and that you feel safe. Before doing anything spiritual, anything about anything, you want to feel safe. So you want to, you know, do whatever it takes to make yourself feel safe. It is, if it is burning sage, if it's having um, different elements in your environment to have to make you feel safe, do that. Do a prayer right set your intentions all of these things will help magnetize your ability to really develop your third eye and your intuition now in order for us to get real insights right as far as like how do i make decisions how do which direction is is more clear for me Right, because that's the purpose of really developing your intuition is to use that intuition to develop, right? So that you can make decisions so that you know what to do next. Okay. And this third eye activation that we just created today and opening the third eye. Hola, honey. Thank you for joining. Right. As you open, open this third eye, right? As you just open that up it's going to give you a lot of insight, okay, as far as who who you want to connect with, the relationships you want to build, um, which partnerships to go in, whether that's business, relationship, or friendships, okay. It makes things so much more clearer when you feel more in tune with what you're feeling. And what that also does is makes you an attraction magnet towards bringing things that you really do want because you become more aware of your energy, your energy center. You become aware of what, you, what it is that you have in your vibrational frequency. Okay, so this was really, really fun. So this is just part one. So I'm going to be doing part two next week and we're going to do a little uh, more exercises on the third eye and intuition. Okay, so I will see you here next week, Tuesday at 1230. Okay, so if you haven't already, um, subscribe so that you get the notification. So when the video is ended, it says subscribe. If you hit subscribe, it will pop up. You will get a notification on your phone every time that I am doing the videos so that you won't miss out because I want you to get the interaction and get the feedback and and all of this amazing thing. So let's see, we have a comment here. If someone is wearing glasses, should he do it with or without the glasses? Uh, it depends on how much, um, like how much can you see without the glasses, right? So, you know, the glasses really don't mean anything because we're focusing on the third eye, but you know, when you're looking at the flame, if, if they can't see the flame in front of them without the glasses, then I recommend that you leave their glasses on. Like the glasses aren't going to make any difference. If you feel more comfortable not having the glasses on, you know, you can take them off too if you could see it, right? It's all about, you want to, when we're doing the first practice, when we're staring at the flame, you want to make sure that you can stare at the flame without blinking, right and if that is with the eye with the glasses on or not on go ahead now if you were in contacts i know that contacts could dry your eyes out when you don't blink so maybe when you're doing this practice you might not want to use contacts but glasses i think you will be fine right and unless like your glasses are like up here and you can't do the touching of the third eye right, that we did earlier, right, when we placed our hands and then we put the finger to activate the third eye, okay, awesome, 
Yeah. Good morning. It's good morning, honey. It's afternoon for me, but it's morning for you. So thank you for being here. <laughs> and let's see. Just did. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, this is great. So if you have any more questions about activating your third eye, you know, in the beginning, you're not going to, you know, anyone who tells you, oh, do this one practice and you'll have clarity in everything that you ever wish for. Um, no, that's not how it works. This is this is a practice, and as you continue to practice your third eye um, and activating and developing it, as you continue to work on the development of it, you will then get it will get stronger and stronger and stronger. What you put your attention to, it becomes a magnet. My context did get dry, yeah. So your context can get dry. So I know that if, if you're doing this practice, you may not want to do it with context, you know. And I highly suggest that you practice this every day. If you are serious about developing your third eye and using this information, you will do this every day. What, it takes like two minutes. Right, it takes like two minutes to do the whole practice. Now I know that it took us longer because I instructed you and I walked you through and we did it a few times. But it literally, it only takes you about two to five minutes, I would say, to do this every day. And the rewards from doing this practice on a daily basis, it's going to be amazing. You know, when I developed my connection with the angels, it wasn't like all of a sudden they were talking to me. No, I needed to work on my third eye. I needed to work on all my chakras, um, especially, you know, the crown and my heart. I needed to learn how to open up my heart. Okay, and we'll talk about this as lessons go on. And as you guys start, you know, as you start requesting different topics, you know, whatever you request, those come to the top of the list. So if there's a topic you really want to learn more about, be my guest, submit comments, let me know, because that is what I'm going to be covering as it goes along. So this is a series. This is only part one. This is the first part of um, developing your third eye. Now, I also want to let you know that there are so many different ways to do this and this is just one way and that's why I'm doing this as a series um, within the next couple of weeks uh, uh, as doing different videos on opening your eye, opening your third eye and getting in touch with your intuition. Okay, now I do want to let you know that if you want to jump start your intuition, if you want to jump start your third eye activation, Okay, I am offering 20 minute complimentary sessions. I'm still offering those 20 minute complimentary sessions. And in this complimentary session, what we can do is we can get clear about what are your specific talents. Okay, what are your skills that you already have and to enhance that so that we can develop your intuition because we're all so very different. Right. And if you were on my webinar, you learned that I, that there are different types of learning styles and different types of learning styles also have different types of um, intuition connections. Right. Some people are real visual. Some people aren't. OK. Some people can feel some people cannot feel. And it really all is connected to the learning style that you have. So if you know your learning style. And if you don't know your learning style, that's okay too. We can do that together on the 20 minute com um, complimentary session. I'll have the link below. Also, if you're on my Facebook page, you will see a sign up button and that will take you directly to get your complimentary session. So go ahead, do that. Uh, my schedule is getting packed already. So go ahead, claim your seat because I really do want to connect with you. And if you're here with me, I really do want to connect and see how I can help you develop your third eye and your intuition so that then you can become clear about what is in your energy so that you can attract what it is that you desire. So this was so much fun. I had so much fun doing this and I know that <laughs> this is so much fun. I love the comments. Thank you. And I love the hearts and the likes that everyone is doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
and I am looking forward to seeing you next week. And wink, wink, on Friday, I'm doing a special pop-up video. So check me out. If you haven't subscribed to get the notifications, do so now. You, you do that on your Facebook page, right? I mean, on, on this video. Ooh, look at all the hearts. Yay! I love the hearts. I love it. I love it. I love it. So if you haven't, subscribe so that you can receive... Okay, so that you can receive the notifications because I will be doing a pop-up video on Friday. And so just stay tuned and I'm going to be doing some goodies in, in the, within the week, tomorrow and Thursday as well. So I'm looking forward to connecting with you all. If you like this video, hit share. And if you share this video, you get entered into a drawing to win a one-hour free coaching with me. So go ahead, share this video on your page and you get entered into a drawing to win a one hour free coaching session with me. And we could discuss anything you want to discuss in that session. It's all about you. So until the next time, namaste everyone. Love you. <laughs>